what is up guys man i'm j dub today we are heading back out on the trap line as you can see it is daytime right now but it is getting close to getting dark so i'm gonna go out here we're gonna start checking the line out i've got a couple snares i need to put up and i figure i'd bring you guys along with me all right guys this is the only thing that's messed with that one set up check some more Guys, so so far today we've had some kind of balls. Let's see what we got over here. We got a trap right here on this log. We got a trap right in front of it. It's basically just a dirt hole. We got a path that comes this way and a path that comes from up there. We haven't had anything, any action out here yet, so let's go out and check the rest of this line. See the gas line comes down right here run straight down I don't see anything in any of our sets but where this hill's so steep we gotta put it in low range so we've got a flat set right here nothing's messed with it I don't see anything out, out there on the rest of the line, so let's go keep checking it. All right, guys, so we've got a problem. Let's see if I can show y'all. So right up there is where we were, right where the, the dark side, the dark part is. That's where we came out. We come down this ridge over here, make a switchback come down. Instead of coming down this steep part, I got this road that comes right down. And keep going down and goes down back to the main road which is straight down not not the interstate but there's a dirt road there we had a trap set off i'm gonna say this was probably the guys that were up here cutting the power line i don't know if y'all guys can see it there's a bunch of piles of brush the power line guys were up here cutting yesterday so that's freshly cut that's freshly cut and they're, they're piling sticks up everywhere. I'm not really sure why they're cutting the right away right now, but that trap was definitely set off. I don't have anything right now to, to remake that set. We'll come back up here tomorrow and remake that. I might bring you guys, I might not. It just depends if we caught anything. But maybe I can do a back to basic series just using that set. All right guys, so we're gonna head on back down the trap line and I'm gonna take y'all guys up there to where we had, the, we had that coyote. You'll see it right here. All right guys, so we got our Got a snare knocked down right here. I'm assuming it was a fox or something come through. There's no deer that'd be coming through here, so I'm gonna go if that was a fox. Came through underneath it. Maybe might have even been a rabbit or a coon, who knows? Whatever it was, wasn't too interested in this other set that's sitting over here. You guys can sign up, see the trap trapping machine. Yeah. Nothing's messed with this one. I just baited it yesterday, so. Let's go up here, check the rest of the line. All right, guys, so I can see I got a snare knocked down. Can't tell what, uh, looks like we got us another coyote. Make sure this thing's dead. This one's nowhere near as pretty as the last one. Caught it right here in this one trail. Oh, y'all guys be able to see this. Caught it right here in this trail. Just make sure. Yep, that one's gone. And another female. Let's go up here and check this other trap real quick. All right, guys, you can see we got another snare knocked down. So we had three snares knocked down and one actually hit last night. So we'll go ahead, reset this one. Go ahead, get this reset. Got that. Some of these branches out of our way. Remember, nothing touching your snares. Once again, there's your good snare set up. Anything coming through here should get caught. You get this one coyote out the snare once again. Whew. All right, guys, as y'all can see, she's full of, oh man, plum eat up with them big old black flies. Ah. Well, that's what you get for springtime coyote trapping. Go ahead and we'll get this thing out of here and we'll get the rest of the set made. Honestly, I take it back. We're not gonna get the rest of the set made tonight. Might have to make this set again tomorrow. All right, guys, you can see perfect. Right behind the neck catch. Just what we're after. Decent red on her. 
rub plumb down to nothing and she's eat up a fleas. All right guys, so there she is. That makes what, number three or four this year? I can't remember. This is why I like spring coyote trapping. I always get some nice ones out, but there's another one. I'll bring y'all guys up tomorrow and I'll show you this set again with the trail and the rain right now. See this little tree right here was one and this other tree was the other side of it. And I actually added this bush here. This was just set here and it's still set there. So that hole was still good. And uh, we're gonna go up there, we're gonna remake that snare and I'll bring y'all guys with me. Here's one of our pipe dream sets. Nothing's messed with it. I really had high hopes for these sets. I'm not really a big fan of the pipe dream sets right now because they're not really producing like I wanted them to. We got a few more sets up here. Let's go up here and check them. All right guys, so I am out of snares. All I had left was, I've got some 1x19 cable here. <sighs> they're, they're, they're bright silver. They have been boiled, so they'll gray up over some time. But I made these last night. We'll go ahead and get these set up. Not having high hopes for it. This is where we caught that coyote last night. You can see this area is fairly tore up. I painted my J-hook pliers because I keep losing them. Let's see, now that, <laughs> that my friends is a bent snare sport. So we could get the hammer and bend that back. As you can see, he tore this area up pretty well. So we'll have to fence the rest of this off. Shouldn't be too hard. We'll fence this off just so that nothing's coming through there. And right here, we'll set our snare back in. Like I said in the video last night, this right here was nothing more than a clot of dirt that I'd found. Stuck it right there. And this, this loop will sit in here. Uh, about like that just like the other one did we'll get about eight inches off the ground and that'll be hopefully another kite in the next couple days so let's go ahead let's bend this snare support back get it back in the ground and get it all all situated they're super simple to bend back i have noticed that just about every time you catch something they do bend Close enough, good enough for me. Go ahead. I like my snare supports to be in the tree. Whatever little tree I've got right here is what I like them to be in. Seems to just work out better that way for me. I got my whammy. I want my loop to be about yay big. I will say I'm not a fan of these whammies anymore. I will be going back to uh, the regular style. There we go. That's in there. We're gonna move this around. This whammy did not hold how I wanted it to. That's just gonna have to do till I can get something better going on. Let's go ahead and fence this side off and then this set will be done. All right guys, and that's it. Like I said, that cable's been boiled. It is shiny right now. Give it a couple days out here in the weather. It shouldn't be shiny anymore. And I'll just go ahead, just try to hide some more, a little bit more of this. Don't want anything touching your cable. That's, that's pretty, pretty well. Get my snare loop off a little bit. This one by 19 cable, I, I, I like it. It's very slick, but I can't set my snares how I, I normally do. I normally set my cable down so that gravity helps it. This cable so slick every time the wind blows. It messes up and throws your lock. All right, guys, man, I appreciate y'all watching. Go ahead, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Leave me a comment down below. And guys, go ahead and check out the links in the description. It does help the channel out a little bit. And I will catch you guys out on the next one. Jesse Wood.
was born on a winter's night in the middle of the storm. The road was blocked, so Jesse was born in this old house. Raised on love in those sunny years when there was magic in the world. Her laughter. 